So it's probably a pretty good chance that we all know somebody with allergies or we ourselves or a family member has allergies. It's not just in our heads that they are actually on the rise and drug companies are stepping in to work on the problem. Take a look. For 13 year old Will Brody, a bite of the wrong food could be fatal. My peanut allergy is definitely the worst allergy I have. It's anaphylactic, which means that if I eat a peanut, I could die or, and I'd take my EpiPen and go to the hospital. Will is one of an increasing number of kids with dangerous allergies. According to the CDC, the prevalence of food allergy, the most common cause of anaphylaxis, rose 70% from 1997 to 2016 in kids younger than 18. Allergic reactions are causing more hospital visits too, an increase of more than fourfold in a decade. Peanuts are the worst culprit. Peanut allergy specifically affects approximately one and a half to four and a half percent of children. Drug companies are responding and two new treatments for peanut allergy may reach the market as soon as next year. From biotech companies Amune and DBV Technologies, both introduce small amounts of peanut protein to patients over time with the goal of building up tolerance. <sighs> Will Brody is in a clinical trial okay, of Amune's great. treatment yeah, called AR101. Good. At first, like, I, we almost didn't do it because, like, it was like eating the thing that, like, I was, like, you know, avoiding at all costs, like, for my whole life. Every day, he mixes a powder made of peanut protein into food. Over time, the dose increases. They start you in a very low dose, and that was one one hundredth of a peanut. By the end, this past August, when they did their last food challenge, he was able to complete the entire challenge, which was over 4,000 milligrams in it, something like 13 peanuts. It doesn't come without side effects like upset stomach, and it's not a cure. He'd still be very careful, but just uh, that peace of mind of knowing that, like, if I accidentally ate something that I shouldn't have, nothing would happen. And guys, food allergies are so prevalent and peanut allergies in particular so severe. Analysts say this could be big business. Baird's Brian Scorney estimates if Amune's treatment gets approved, it could draw $1.3 billion in peak sales in 2025.